Only 1,685 pounds, little GeoPro 12 SRK just landed here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a fun, interesting way to spend a weekend. If you are, uh, you know, afraid of towing anything large, if you have a small tow capacity, or if you just have simple needs and tastes, this would be a fantastic fit for you. There's a great deal of Asdell used in the construction of this. We have a big rear outside kitchen, and this SRK stands in contrast to just the 12RK, which is literally just a bed with an outside kitchen. This one has something of a small living space with a little sofa that can convert into a bed space inside with a very nicely placed entertainment center. Now, if you're looking for something that's easy to park, maybe you're a little afraid to back things up, or maybe you just have a nice little corner of a garage or a barn that you want to park something. It doesn't get much easier than this thing. So, if my scrawny little chicken arms can do it, I'm pretty sure yours can too. So again, in contrast to the 12RK, which is literally just a bed on the floor. This one adds a neat little sofa into the equation. And there is an impressive amount of space in here. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not like, uh, you know, the uh, you know Golden Corral amount of space or something like that, but it's sufficient. Now, uh, that window right there does have a pleated, uh, or pardon me, not pleated, but roll down like blackout shade, like a motorhome type shade. And remember that there's some optional equipment present here, like the uh, air conditioner that we've added. That is a non-standard piece of equipment. Now, the one in stock might be different. It might have, uh, you know, a bike rack, or it might not have the awning, or this one has the tire package. Maybe that one doesn't have the tire package. They can be different from what we're looking at here. Now, a smart thing that they included here is this handy front, uh, I don't know, shelf, basically. But you see that pop-up power tower with uh, dual household outlets and USB plugs. Now, this camper is like purpose-built for boondocking, even as integrated solar on the roof. However, it also has an inverter that can run any of your household outlets, like those that we're looking at right there, or those down below. There's actually an impressive number of outlets in this thing. Now, um, that right there is your propane furnace, and that is one of the things that the 12RK was a little bit different on, was uh, heating method. And this is a little storage compartment that actually passes through to the outside, so whether you want it for interior or exterior storage, you have it. But note too, even this little gaucho style sofa, Rockwood still has this fully aluminum framed so that it is lightweight and long lasting. And just the little things like that are awesome. Now, of course, there's no need for carpet in here. Now, this is fresh off the delivery truck. So remember that things like cleaning don't cost you extra here at Halet RV. We are not a hidden fee dealership. Now, one of the questions you're going to be inclined to ask in a little camper like this is, can I even fit in this thing? Well, <laughs> I'm a 200 pound 623 dude. I got plenty of headroom up here. You know, I've got a good, I don't know, four inches above my head. Now, I'm not going to stand up in this thing and do jumping jacks, and I don't know if there's enough room for a yoga mat. <laughs> Maybe my kid, but she doesn't do yoga, so that'd be silly. But my point is, there's plenty of room in here. I mean, I can, I, I got about a six foot wingspan. I can stretch out. I still can't touch wall to wall. It's surprisingly spacious and surprisingly effective and comfortable. I'm I'm really impressed actually. Now I mentioned how this had a nice entertainment setup and guys I wasn't kidding. This remember this is a camper built for boondocking. So what they did here is you have a simple 12 volt Bluetooth stereo but if you feel like expanding your entertainment, it does have HDMI inputs. You can actually even place hands-free calls for that. And even this little camper still has the Wi-Fi Ranger. If what you're looking for is easier access to mobile data connectivity. Now, that uh, stereo unit is not a DVD player, but never you worry, because you have one built into this TV. And again, built for boondocking, this is a uh, either household plug-powered or 12-volt powered TV. It actually has a dual power source so you can plug in the power adapter you need to you know, function how you need on your camping trip. And that is just one of those smart, cool things. Now, if you look under here, you can see there are some extra outlets and whatnot just to be able to plug in extra devices if you choose to expand your entertainment. You could always utilize that little space up there for, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever you sort of have now. I have to kill the light so that the uh, light doesn't you know, kill the camera. But this only has one interior light. And that seems really minimal, and it is, but it's on purpose. Because remember, guys, this is made for off-grid use. 
when uh, you know when all you may have to rely on is the uh, 100 watt solar panel that's uh, standard integrated into the roof system of this RV, you don't want something that's going to use too much power. It's really intelligent how they designed this, and look how they used every little nook and cranny of space. Is this some like rear kitchen fifth wheel with a, the world's greatest amount of storage? Of course not. But for a little box, they did really well, I think. Now all that fancy pants, shiny shoes entertainment is nice, but at some point, you gotta go to sleep. And what's nice is this one actually turns into a surprisingly spacious bed. This is what's called a gaucho style sofa, where the bottom actually slides open and the cushions fold down to create a mattress. That's a classic old style uh, fixture that just works very, very well. And you see, you still maintain use of that headboard. And again, remember, that inverter means that CPAP users, you can go camping in a GeoPro and not die at night. And that is good. That's a, that's a, that's a very good thing, I think. Um, not, not just camper longevity, but human longevity. Now, uh, I just quick tape measured this thing. I wasn't getting real specific. I was coming up with somewhere between six foot to six two long on this mattress and uh, about four and a half feet wide. So that is, uh, you know, a little bit of margin of, of error possible in there, but I want you to know. Now back outside, remember again that there's some optional equipment present. Like we added that uh, 13,500 BTU low profile air conditioner. Uh, we upgraded to the uh, larger tire and wheel package. One of the neat things when you do that is all, note that your spare tire, when you add that package, even the spare tire upgrades to a full tire. It'll be a steel wheel, not aluminum, but it's a full tire. So it's not like you're gonna be in some goof, stupid donut to try to get you to your destination. And man, as Michael Jackson would say, those things look bad. Those things are bad. Now when you do get the bigger tire package, you also get that step right there to help you get in and out. Um, the uh, little galvanized rolled steel table on the side here, this is the perfect place to utilize the Coleman Camp Grill with wind block technology. So, uh, you know, everything has to have the word technology added to it. But the point is, it's a free floating uh, gas grill that has a much, much higher output at 11,000 BTU versus like a normal 5K BTU outside cooker. All LED tail and marker lights on this, just like a bigger Rockwood. And Anywhere that this is laminated, you're going to find Asdell uh, substitutes in place of Luon wood panels. And that's something Rockwood does pretty much exclusively in their Geo Pro segment to help make this thing incredibly lightweight. So many people are actually questioning me on that the last year and a half. I'm talking all about how Geo Pros are built with Asdell. But the problem is, Rockwood never put the Asdell sticker on the side, nor did they mention the word Asdell on their website. But the fact is, they have Asdell and they have the sticker now, so everyone can believe me, I guess. Now, easy towing little bugger. This is only five feet wide, so it is not even as wide as a general tow vehicle. Um, basically, anything capable of handling this is going to be wider. That is awesome in terms of uh, reducing headwinds and whatnot. You see you have a double propane tank system with an auto changeover regulator. That is good news for folks. And part of the reason that like the 12 SRK has a, uh, a double propane tank system with auto regulator, whereas the generic 12 RK over there has a single propane tank. So why the difference? Remember that this one has a propane furnace on it, so it does have the ability to utilize greater uh, propane consumption. Um, the, uh, what else was I getting at here? I lost my train of thought. Uh, my train of thought went off the rails. Oh, um, there is no rubberized roofing on this. Let me see if I can try to do this without getting myself killed. Probably, there, there we go. There you go. So, you can see, no rubberized roofing on here. It's just all fiberglass. And what's interesting is your roof is basically just a sidewall installed on the roof. Now normally, flat roofing, not the greatest idea in the world, but this thing's so small and so strong, it's not going to be an issue. There's not enough surface area to collect enough weight to buckle anything. Now you notice over there how you have that little solar panel sticking out. You may have spotted the Wi-Fi Ranger on the other side. Uh, again, those things helping you uh, stay off grid and improve your mobile data access while doing so. Now where you do have a window on here, it's frameless, which means it can tilt open for rainy day airflow because once again, if you don't have an air conditioner available, you're going to want that airflow. This is the outside storage pocket that we saw under the sofa, but look at the little attention to detail. Even this little critter 
has a little magnet hold back. How cool is that? How cool is that? I mean, how cool is this? This whole thing is cool. We've got a water heater on this one so that you can, uh, again, with the propane system being there, they were able to add some bigger propane appliances. And that's part of the reason you're going to see a price difference between this and the 12RK. It's kind of a little jazzy step up, whereas the 12RK is a little bit more basic. Now, they have slightly different uh, rear outside kitchens. Uh, you know, which one you prefer is kind of up to you. Uh, but you can see over here, like we've got almost what would look like a bathroom vanity. And by the way, there is one other LED light out here, two lights on this camper. But again, purpose, purposely, very minimal lighting so you don't overdo it on your battery. And I like how that's got a mirror on it, you know, just to help you see yourself in the morning because without a shower, you get to see how greasy your face has gotten. <laughs> Some of my camping friends uh, who are also customers of mine called me one day, they were like, hey, we're swinging through. We want to say hi. Then they got here, they're like, uh, just to warn you, we're kind of stinky. <laughs> so USB plugs out here to keep your you know, devices topped off. Stainless steel sink. Now this has almost like a quick release air hose you'd see in uh, like our, our RV service center that we have here at Halet RV. You can swap that out if you uh, want to get one of those little blue coily hose ends so that uh, you can have like a residential sprayer on this. You have that ability. Little pocket of storage down below because why waste it? Again, inverter to run those outlets and your uh, little um, you know control center right here. It's funny because it says interior, although I suppose this would operate the interior light of the outside kitchen. Now that inverter will not run the air conditioner. It will not run the microwave. Those are really high draw things and uh, uh, you know, it could theoretically be used to power the microwave, but they didn't want you to suck your battery dry. So what they did here, this bigger fridge as compared to the 12RK is now a three-way fridge. We've got 12 volt battery power, 110 park power, and propane. And in English, guys, that means cold, cold, or coldest. Um, I think we just about got her. I mean, it's not the biggest camper in the world. It's simple, easy, effective. One other quick thing to note, um, right behind that rear tire, right below that grilling station, or at least that shelf, there is an outside grill quick connect. So if you are not a fan of those Coleman camp grills, if you want a normal like RVQ style grill, it's even set up for that. I mean, there's a lot going on in this little tiny box. It is fun, it's impressive, and I think you're gonna love it. So whether it's this one or the little bitty 12 RK, uh, you know, spying on us in the distance over there. It's kind of, it's kind of creeping in the background. We do it all. We've got a little bit of everything here at Halet RV. So whether you're looking, go ahead, sir. You're not. Thank you. You're fine. Whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between, we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. I look forward to hearing from you soon.